Seasons may be coming to an end for some teams in high school baseball playoffs. Tonight, Bishop Kenny taking on South Walton. Bottom of the first, Seahawks Hudson Mandel rips one to right to bring home Ronan Fowler. First run of the game, it's a one-zip South Walton lead. Later in the first, Seahawks add to their lead. Braxton Varn sends one deep. This brings in two more runs for the Seahawks. They get a 3-0 game, but BK comes back. Not pictured, scoring seven runs to win it 7-6. to six, And the Crusaders advance to the next round of the playoffs. Episcopal hosting Providence tonight. Top of the second, no score. Scout Eckholm with a pop fly. Brett Dennis will tag up, and here he comes. First score of the game, one zip Stallions. Later in the second, runner on third. Mason Wortman lays down a bunt. It's a good one. He gets Dylan Hale home, and it's a 2-0 Stallions lead. That's a good small ball right there. Stallions not done in the second. Ben Barrow sends this pitch into left. Matthew Hamill runs right out of his helmet. Yeah, there it is. And a 3-0 lead for the Stallions. Providence goes on to win it 9-5 over Episcopal. The Stallions will continue on. Some other scores from around the area. Swanee with an 11-5 win over Baker County in 4A. You see that uh, Bishop Kenny scores 7-6 over South Walton. Elsewhere, St. John's Country Day puts up a 13 spot on St. Paul, uh, St. John Paul II to move on in the 2A regional. And University Christian survives against Wakulla Christian, 5-4 the final in 2A right there. Elsewhere, Fernandita Beach, a winner over Bishop Snyder. That's a bit of an upset. Snyder was the number one seed. And Trinity Christian with a big win over St. Joe's. A uh, seven seed knocking off a two seed in the 2A regional by a big number. Also, we mentioned that the Bishop Kennedy uh, Providence score there. Clay was up 12-7 at last check in the 10th inning over Santa Fe in the 4A regional as well. Now some softball scores. Clay, a 4-1 win over Baker County. Paxton knocks off Matanzas by the score of 7-1 in the region 4A. Baldwin. The top seed knocks off Episcopal in a pitcher's duel 2-1. to one. Keystone Heights, a 7-4 winner over West Nassau tonight. And uh, Providence also with the winner. And check this one out. 17 innings. West Florida survives against Bishop Kennedy 4-3. So Kennedy's softball season comes to a close. Also, we have a few more scores for you here. Trinity Christian and University Christian, both with 15-0 wins on their side in the 2A regionals. They will continue on in the playoffs.